Hey guys, we're here on day four of the Seminole Hard Rock Showdown with our day four Rise Player of the Day, Blair Hinkle. Blair, you're going to get a hat and a hoodie at the future to put to use. You have a bunch of chips. I think you're second in chips with 1.7 million. Really? Only second? Is ta does Taylor have 1.3. Oh, you oh. are a chip leader. Right. My bad. You were a chip leader, so that's one reason. You had a really big day, though. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the highlights? Um, I'd say the first highlight was getting moved away from my starting table. It was a pretty tough table, and I had opened two pots and got three bet and just like had to fold. And then I get moved, and pretty quickly I jumped from like 200,000 all the way up to like four to 500,000. And then made the chip leader with like four to five people, chip leader of the table, mm -hmm. with like four four to five people before the bubble burst. So it was perfect timing to go on a, a little rush. And then yeah. after that we had the whole bubble thing. Yeah. And no. I, I gained maybe another 300,000 on the bubble. And then after that I got in a really, really big pot against um, a guy who had gotten moved to the table and he was playing really aggressive. and. I flopped a set against him and he had a flush draw and we got into like a 1.5 million chip pot and luckily I held and from there I just kind of built slowly. Now I think one of the second to last hand of the bubble maybe, there were a lot of players limping in, player at your table, uh, Randall, David Randall, down to about a big blind. He was down there, yeah. Everybody kind of limping in, trying to bust him, comes to you in the big blind. No, he's in the oh, position. Wait, wait, yeah. Oh, it was, middle position. It was 10k and then and oh, one call. Yeah. yeah. All right. All this kind of money in the pot, and you came out with a raise. Yeah, I raised it to 40,000. Everybody uh, folds, and the last guy is, you know, mucks a, what he claims is going to be the winning hand, and you turn over what? Uh, three, four offsuit. Three, four <laughs> offsuit. And boy, were the players livid. Yeah. Uh, no, there was one guy at the table who was not. So upset oh, about well, it yes. as David Randall had yeah. ace four, so it worked David out all right for him. I was surprised, yeah. I was like, man, how does he have ace four there? <laughs> <laughs> but no, I was um, obviously trying to extend the bubble, and a lot of people didn't understand that, and so I don't know. I felt kind of bad actually afterwards because so many people were just glaring at me, and especially the guy who said he had jacks, the, there was a jack on the flop. And he looked like he wanted to beat me up. <laughs> he had to leave for a little while. Yeah, he, I'm sure he would have if he didn't leave for a little bit. So, I don't know. I mean, the next hand I made another 45 can chip, so it worked out fine for me. Like, <laughs> you know, but at the same time, I could tell, like, I, I felt kind of bad because he was so um, mad at me. Uh, well, now, you ended the day at a table with one of your really good friends, right? You and James Mackey. Right. Is it weird? Have you guys played with each other much before, or is this something new? Um, we've played a decent amount. He actually taught me how to play. So uh, we were roommates in college and then for a couple years after that. And so it's not... Neither of us are happy when we were at the same table because, I don't know, we're both can be aggressive at times and make moves. And so it's not the best thing to see him to my left. Uh, and to start the day, I was actually on his left, and so he wasn't happy about the table draw. But, I mean, we both made it through the day, and uh, I mean, I'm just happy for both of us to make it this far. I was going to say, hopefully we'll be happy to see both of you at the final table, and <laughs> yeah. no one can be that upset about that, right? No. All right, well, congrats on being chip leader. Good luck tomorrow. And guys, if you want to check out Rise Clothing yourself, you can do so at shopri or riseclothing.com. Thanks.